Do you have a boxer? Do they suffer from unseen allergies? Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about a wide range of internal and external allergies that your boxer could suffer with. Welcome back to the Fenrir Boxer Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you, then helping you become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect canine companions. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future upload. There are many ways to tell if your boxer has allergies. There are many telltale signs to watch out for. These could include your boxer's ears, the inside of the ears will be red and warm if they have an allergy. Your boxer may be biting at his skin a lot to try and ease the itching. They may scratch themselves a lot too. Your boxer's skin may become inflamed and they may develop hives. Their face may swell up and they may scratch so much they cause scabs or dandruff. They can also become noticeably more smelly and their coat may become dry or extra oily. Other signs include your boxer start coughing, wheezing or sneezing and they may start to develop eye or nose discharge. In extreme cases and internal allergies, your boxer may develop diarrhea and vomiting and could even lose consciousness and could die from allergies. Dogs that have issues like hormonal imbalances, bacterial or fungal infections or a weak immune system are more likely to develop allergies. Internal allergies can be extremely stressful. As a dog owner, you recognise that your boxer has an issue but you can't pinpoint exactly what it is. Internal allergies are mostly caused by things that your boxer has ingested. Unfortunately, internal allergies are the most serious and need to be dealt with as soon as you recognise an issue. These type of allergies are often remedied by prescribed medication and removing the cause of the allergy from your boxer's diet or surroundings. One common internal allergy is food or treat allergies. In fact, it's very common for dogs to be allergic to foods like chicken, beef, fish, pork, dairy, corn and wheat. To diagnose your boxer's food or treat allergy, you should do an elimination diet. This is where you take out one ingredient at a time and try and figure out which types of food your boxer is allergic to. It's very important that you monitor exactly what your boxer eats. They may eat things out of the garden that they shouldn't or food off the floor during walks which can cause tummy upsets and allergies. Also, there is unfortunately an increase of people poisoning items of food and leaving it in public areas for dogs to eat. This is another reason as well as allergy concerns to ensure you do not let your dog eat anything that you have not given to them, especially if it's on the floor when out on walks. If your boxer has any internal allergies, they may get gastrointestinal tummy upsets, which can cause dehydration, weight loss and malnutrition. One of the most common external allergies for dogs to develop is canine atopic dermatitis. This is usually an allergy to things like pollen, mite, house dust and mould. With canine atopic dermatitis, your boxer's skin will become inflamed. It can be seasonal or allergies can occur all year. It usually starts to occur between one and three years of the dog being exposed to the allergy. Another common issue is dog flea allergies. This is an allergy to the flea's saliva, which is full of chemicals that can cause an allergic reaction. Another type of dog allergy is contact dermatitis. This is where allergens will come on very quickly and suddenly and cause symptoms like hives, itching skin, rashes and hair loss. This type of dermatitis is often linked with allergies to soaps, flea collars, shampoo, fertilizers, weed killers, disinfectants and insecticides. If you notice that your boxer has inflamed skin or hair loss on their neck after or during wearing a flea collar, this is often the culprit. If your boxer has been licking or biting at the affected areas, this can also lead to them developing mouth lesions. You can help some external allergies by bathing your boxer in hypoallergenic organic shampoos and help relief of itching symptoms. Also, addition to fish oil to your boxer's diet can help for any other issues with hair loss or rashes. Some good products to use to help your boxer's coat include sardines or sprats and sunflower oil. There are also causes where your boxer can have one-off allergic reactions. This is called acute allergic reactions. They can be reactions to things like bee stings, insect bites and vaccines. These allergic reactions can cause symptoms like hives, facial swelling, weakness, breathing issues and may even cause your boxer to collapse. If this allergy occurs, you should take your boxer straight to the vets to seek medical advice and medication. If not, it can be fatal for your boxer. It's very important to keep an eye on any potential allergies that can affect your boxer. If you suspect your boxer is suffering from any allergies, you should immediately seek veterinary advice and try to figure out what the allergy is or where it's come from. 
If you do not address these issues, it can be fatal for your boxer. Even with simple allergies, your boxer will be very uncomfortable if it's not managed correctly. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section down below, and don't forget, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell as we have three dedicated boxer videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Boxer Show.